Aflibercept, also known as Ilia HD, is a medication used to treat serious eye conditions such as macular edema, macular degeneration, and diabetic retinopathy. It may also be used to treat retinopathy of prematurity. This medication is important for preserving vision and preventing blindness. Aflibercept is a growth factor inhibitor, which means it works by slowing the growth of abnormal new blood vessels in the eye and decreasing leakage from these blood vessels. For those who are prescribed with Ilia HD, the recommended dosage is 2 mg every 8 weeks for the first 12 weeks, followed by 2 mg every 12 weeks. The medication is administered by injection into the eye by a healthcare professional. It is important to follow the prescribed dosage and schedule as directed by your healthcare provider. The best time to take this medication is during a regular appointment with your eye specialist. They will be able to administer the injection and monitor your progress to ensure the best results. It is important to continue using this medication as prescribed, even if you feel well. When using Ilia HD 8 mg per 0.07 ml intravitreal solution for injection for macular degeneration, it is important to note that this medication is administered through an injection into the affected eyes by a healthcare professional. The eyes will be numbed before the injection, and you will be monitored in the doctor's office afterward. The dosage and treatment schedule will depend on your medical condition, age, and response to treatment, so it is essential to follow your doctor's directions carefully for the best effect. Using this medication regularly will help you get the most benefit from it. If you have any concerns or if your condition worsens, be sure to inform your doctor. Some common side effects of Ilia HD 8 mg per 0.07 ml intravitreal solution for injection ophthalmic may include injection site pain, feeling as if something is in the eye, or increased tears. If you experience any of these effects and they persist or worsen, it's important to inform your doctor or pharmacist right away. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed to you because your doctor has determined that the benefits outweigh the potential risks of side effects. Many people who use this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it's crucial to notify your doctor immediately if you experience any serious side effects, such as floaters, blurry shapes that seem to float in front of your eyes, or swollen eyelids. You should seek medical help right away if you experience very serious side effects like chest-slash-jaw-slash-left arm pain, shortness of breath, unusual sweating, weakness on one side of the body, trouble speaking, or confusion. In rare cases, this medication may increase your risk of developing certain serious eye conditions, such as endophthalmitis or retinal detachment. If you notice symptoms like pain, redness, sensitivity to light, blurred vision, sudden change in vision, or loss of vision in the affected eyes, it's important to seek medical help immediately. While very serious allergic reactions to this drug are rare, it's important to get medical help right away if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching slash swelling, especially of the face slash tongue slash throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you notice any other effects not listed here, it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist for advice. Before starting treatment with Ilia, it's important to let your doctor know if you have any allergies, as this medication may contain inactive ingredients that could cause an allergic reaction. It's also important to inform your doctor of any current eye infections or swelling in your medical history. Ilia may cause blurred vision, so it's important to avoid activities like driving or operating machinery until you are sure you can do so safely. If you are planning to have surgery, make sure to inform your doctor about all the medications you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. If you are pregnant, Ilia should only be used when clearly needed. It's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor and ask about reliable forms of birth control to use during and for some time after the last dose. If you become pregnant or think you may be pregnant, it's important to inform your doctor immediately. It is not known if Ilia passes into breast milk, so it's important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding. When using Ilia HD 8 mg per 0.07 ml intravitreal solution for injection, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how this medication works or increase the risk of serious side effects. It's essential to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription-slash-non-prescription drugs and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. It's important not to start, stop, 
or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with Ilia HD 8 mg per 0.07 ml intravitreal solution for injection include products applied to the eye, such as eye drops. Be sure to discuss any concerns about potential interactions with your healthcare provider. If you suspect someone has overdosed on Ilia HD, with symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek emergency medical help immediately. In the U.S., you can contact your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, you can call a provincial poison control center. It's crucial to act quickly in these situations to ensure the person gets the help they need. It's important to have regular medical checkups, including eye exams, while using Ilia HD, make sure to keep all your medical appointments and consult with your doctor for more information. This will help ensure that you are getting the full benefits of the medication and that it is working effectively for your condition. Make sure to take each dose of this medication as directed by your doctor. If you happen to miss a dose, be sure to speak with your doctor to determine the best way to continue with your dosing schedule. This medication is typically administered in a medical setting and is not intended to be stored at home. This injection is used to treat certain eye conditions, such as macular degeneration, and is not meant for self-administration. It is important to follow the dosage and timing recommended by your healthcare provider for the best results. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.